Well, hi friends, how are you this Monday, beautiful Monday morning in April. This is Carrie from down near the Houston area popping in this morning while we get ourselves ready for the day. I hope wherever you are, you are ready for this new week, this Monday. Did you have a good weekend? I did. Kind of dragging the day though. I am the energy level seems to be pretty low this morning. So I'm just taking my time. Running a little behind today. Just cannot seem to get going today. Not sure what's going on. Just fatigue, I think. Busy weekend, you know how that goes. You just get downtime, but then did you get enough downtime? That's what I'm struggling with. I don't think I did. I don't think I really took enough time over the weekend to just decompress. And that's not a good thing because we all really need in our society, we're so busy, we really need to decompress. Did you grab your coffee this morning? Or your drink? And your snack if you need it, all your tools and your makeup. And let's get ourselves going on this kind of over cloudy, overcast, cloudy day here in Houston. I have done my brows, which are a mess again. I just cannot get my brows to do what I want them to do. I've got to try to get back into using my three-step system that I was using at the beginning of the year because I had so much more luck with that. But I just cannot get my arm stable enough to use that pencil. I end up getting it all over the place. Um, just can't seem to quite move that direction yet. But I'll get there at some point. They don't look horrible. They just don't look as nice as I would like them to look. All right. What are we going to do today? Uh, obviously, I'm wearing green today, green and tan, and so we're going to go in. I'm actually going to use, I think, my contour palette today uh, with my with those colors in it for my makeup. I mean, for my um, eyeshadow look, I think. We'll see. We will see once I get this in. This is my Joa concealer. And yes, I'm using it all over because I'm trying to use it up. Uh, and I'm going to come in with my LA Girls Pro White Concealer. I want some white underneath here. Really want to brighten this area up today. Be adding some white there, and this is a really messy applicator. I don't know if you guys use this or not, but it I love the applicator because it's like a paintbrush, and you get really defined delivery, but it kind of gets messy, and I am definitely OCD when it comes to my makeup. I it's gotta be very clean. I don't like to have dirty. Um, makeup utensils, and so I'm very OCD about that. I'm just letting that sort of melt a little bit before I start blending. You guys have a busy week this week? I do. I definitely have some appointments that I've got to get to this week. And uh, so I am trying to definitely start my week off on a positive note here. So much going on in our lives these days, you know? 
It seems like we are just go, 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 go. I was talking to my girlfriend about this the other night. And um, she was saying the same thing. It just her family is just constantly on the go and they are they are all tired all of the time. And I think in our society here in the United States, you know, we are all really workaholics and you know everybody is doing their best with the current financial situation and I, I really do think that takes a toll on all of us you know that emotional worry that financial stress um, I think it takes a toll on your just I think it just takes a toll and well, I'm not liking my hair here so I'm just gonna put my fingers through my hair we'll have one of those days where you just can't get your hair to do what you want it to do either. So we're just going to put our fingers through it, put it behind our ears, and hope that it looks okay. Not to digress, but I'm digressing. And um, I think that we just all are incredibly busy here in the United States. Well, it's probably not just here in the United States, but we just seem to be workaholics here. And um, that's not a good thing, especially if you're not taking downtime to recuperate from being a workaholic. Um, your, your body's got to have time to rest and recuperate. And when you don't, that's when you get sick, right? That's when that comes back in and really has a tendency to mess with your health. Feels better now that those are behind my ears. All right, so we just added my um, contour there because I'm putting my contour on now before I put my loose powder on. And I now I'm taking my Laurier, Laura Mercy A setting powder, loose powder, and I am now going to cover up my wet product, seal all my wet product that I am using. I do like the way that that looks with my contour, putting it under my uh, powder, I'm really, really liking the way that that has a softer appearance for me. You know me, I'm sort of old fashioned and old school and I'm, I'm, it's, it was a big, it was a big step to really start wearing. Um, Contour so for me, um, you know, I'm still trying to get used to that look Okay, using some Revlon today and this is Revlon number 460 And let me get the name of this one. It is blushing mauve and it's just a really neutral, uh, everyday go-to um, lipstick that is one of my favorites. Uh, L'Oreal and Revlon are definitely my favorite when it comes to um, lipsticks. Okay, so now we are... I am going to use a green pencil to line today, but before we do that, I am going to come in and I am going to use my contour palette today. And what we're going to do is we're going to use these two colors. We're going to use this pretty tan color and this um, lighter of the two darker colors. And we're 
we're going to use this softer, lighter color on the overall eyelid, eye area, all the way up to my brow bone. Taking it all the way up. Because what I want to show to be sort of be the star of the show today, if you will, is the green pencil that I'm going to use to outline. Then we're going to come in using this same brush, and I'm going to pick up that, that really pretty sort of tanny burnt. I'm going to put that up here in the transitional area. So, you know, we guys have talked about, I had a question over the weekend and I haven't got around to answering, so I, I will directly answer to you. You asked me this question, thank you. Uh, but I thought I would include it in this video today. We haven't talked about it in a while, and that is exfoliating. And can you damage your skin exfoliating? And yes, you absolutely can damage your skin, especially um, mature skin. You've got to be very careful about how you um, use your exfoliator, especially if you're using a um, some sort of chemical. I don't use chemical exfoliators because, frankly, they frighten me. What I do use is I use a sponge. It's like a, a loofah sponge. Um, for me, that is an, uh, I can control that and I feel more comfortable using a uh, exfoliating sponge. But even using an exfoliating sponge, you have to be very careful because... If you've got fragile skin and older skin has mature skin skin has a tendency to be a little bit more fragile obviously so you just really really want to be careful about how often you are exfoliating and if you are using a sponge how long you are actually exfol you know how long you do it um, I have gotten, you know, it's the only exfoliation system that I have ever it, that I have ever used, um, and I, you know, I have even caused myself some damage in the past. So you just have to be very, very careful about um, how you're doing it and not overdo it. I, like I said, I don't use chemicals at all when I exfoliate, so I really can't even talk to talk about that. The one thing that I would say, um, you know, if you are using, if you are using or want to use a chemical exfoliant and you're not 100% confident about how it works, don't do it, right? Really go and get with somebody that can help you um, understand how to use the product first of all and uh, get some you know get some definite experienced knowledge with it because I uh, you know I have seen I've got a girlfriend that used a chemical peel and goodness gracious it just really really caused her ha to have all sorts of problems and it took her a long time to recover from using this chemical peel that she was using. So I would just tell you, if you're gonna use a chemical peel, definitely get in and talk to somebody that can give you knowledge and experience. You know, somebody that's actually used the product would be, would, in my opinion, would be the best. But if you can't find that, then, you know, somebody within, you know, where you're buying it should have, you know, some sort of experience that they could guide you on that. because. You know, those can be really, really scary. I don't know if you've ever watched any of the uh, plastic surgery videos where they actually go in and do chemical peels on people. And those, you know, those peels, they take 
two to three weeks to get over. So it's really no joke. So you've got to be very, very careful when you're using heels. When I use my um, sponge, I use it anywhere from two to three times a week, depending on how my skin is looking. Uh, you know, if I'm out in the, if I'm out in the environment a lot working for the, you know, during the week, I have a tendency to need to exfoliate a little bit more. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I'm guessing it has something to do with maybe the sun. I, I don't really know. I just know that when I'm, you know, out in it all week, uh, I, my skin just needs to have that little bit of extra help to revitalize and look better. But normally for me, I do it twice a week. Um, I, I do it, you know, normally on a weekend, one day during the week, weekend, and then you want to wait at least two days, two days in between uh, doing it again, just so your skin can, you know, recover, because you're literally taking the layers off your skin. So just want to be very careful. Listen to your skin. Um, you know, if you, if you get any areas of your skin where they're looking like you know, you're, you're going to cause a scab on your skin, then you're, then you're doing it way too hard and you're doing it way too often. So just food for thought. Your skin's going to tell you. It's going to react to what you're doing. So really pay attention to, you know, the first couple of days after you exfoliate because that's really going to give you an indication of if you've done too much. Um... And just be really careful with any chemical peel. Go go talk to somebody before you use a chemical peel because I just don't have enough experience because I don't use them because they frighten me. Um, I'm using again today my Green Davis Pencil. These, if you remember, we've talked about these. I got these from Amazon. There's a group of 25 of them. They're very good. You can use them for eyeliner, lipstick, um, blush. They're just, they're an all really versatile, nice set of colorful, um, pencils. Then uh, we went in and we used this as our make our eyeshadow today. We used these two colors, the the um, darker light color and the lighter dark color. These two we use. This is an e.l.f. product, and we use the green pencil. We use the Laura Mercier loose setting powder. Then for my finishing powder, I'm using my uh, Revlon Color Stay. I love this product. I actually like this packaging better because it's a skinnier package and goes in my purse better. So we're using that. Then we put on our Tarte Energy Blush. Uh, this one is a great product. It's a, sort of a middle of the line product, if you will. Not the most expensive, but certainly not the cheapest on the market, but it's a very nice product. And now we're just sort of blending, making sure that we've got everything blended in. And let's curl these lashes. And we're going to use our Benefit Bang today, my mascara. I am almost out of that. It's soon to be done. But we're going to get it really loaded up here and cleaned. Make sure the end of my wand is all clean. And let's get in and start. Can I believe we are tax day?
starting down at the bottom. Sorry, I got lost in my thoughts just there, thinking about tax day. Can't believe we're in the middle of April already. Goodness gracious. That just didn't that just seem like we were January first? The years and the days just go by so quickly it seems. This is a beautiful mascara. It really is. It um really coats and defines your lashes very beautifully. Formula is fantastic with this product. Really beautiful mascara. It just makes my lashes look like they're fake. I just wish the uh, wand was just a little different. Okay, now let's come down and do the bottom. A really pretty green. Loving that green more and more. The more I use it, the more I, I just think it's beautiful. Really just makes my eyes, my brown eyes, just really stand up. Makes them pop. Round up down here. Whoops. Come back in and do one more coat on the ends of these lashes. I go to the bottom of the lash. If you're new here and you've never seen me before, hi, thank you for joining us this morning, by the way, while we get ready for this new beautiful Monday. I start at the base of my lash because I'm trying to make sure that I am using the curl that I put in my lashes to the fullest extent. I have very straight, very light colored lashes. And so for me, in order to see them, I've got, I have to um, use a um, curl or you can't see them. Even with mascara, if I don't curl my lashes, you can, you can barely see them. And, uh, I use the mascara to lock that curl in. It's like, you know, similar to the same principle as hairspray, basically. But locking that curl in definitely does help. And um, that's why I start at the base of my lash to make sure that I'm, that I'm getting that really um, nice curl locked in. Just coming in and trying to make my brows look a little nicer this morning. All right, that's it for me on this beautiful Monday. I hope you have a just a wonderful week, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for all of your wonderful comments over the weekend. I uh, didn't get around to doing much responding because I just was, had a lot of things going on and just never got around to it. So I apologize, but I will today, I promise. Um, and I thank you very much for those messages. I really do. I know you are very busy and I appreciate the fact that you take the time to send me a message. That is a very, very nice gesture and I promise I will respond to all of your messages. I hope you have a fantastic Monday and a wonderful, productive week this week. Remember, you have 10 seconds to make that all-important first impression. Don't waste it because you just never know where it's going to take you, who it's going to meet, who you're going to meet, what doors it's going to open, and you never get it back. You never get that first impression back. 
It's one and done. So make sure you're ready for it during your work week. That's why getting ready every day is so important to me because you just never know who I'm going to meet through the day, who I'm going to meet on a Zoom call. You just never know. So I always want to be prepared. And that's why I come in and share this time with you every morning getting ready. Also, remember, it doesn't matter if you're 10 or 100, really. I mean, if you have a goal and a dream and you haven't seen it come to fruition yet, don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. Life is life is a precious thing. And if you've got a goal and a dream, go get it. Don't let, don't let age stop you. It shouldn't. It's just a reminder of the day we were born. But it doesn't prevent you, within reason, of course, it doesn't prevent you from chasing the dreams and the goals that you have at any age. Don't let it stop you. And this channel here is your place for us to share ideas, come in, exchange ideas, exchange comments, put examples out there, teach each other, teach each other things. And uh, if I can give back in some way for my knowledge and experience, then that's why I do what I do. I'm very blessed. I live this in this wonderful country. And so for me, that's what this time of my life is all about, giving back, helping others along the way. God bless everybody. Have a wonderful Monday. Hit your home run today or hit a Grand Slam today. Make it a fantastic Monday. And if you haven't already, please consider thinking about joining our community. We'd love to have you. If you do, please send me a message so I can uh, respond out to you and welcome you to our, our community. Everyone is welcome here. As long as we're positive, we're posting positive, encouraging comments and statements, that's what this is about. Community, helping each other along the way so we can have our best life. Live it to the fullest and have all the things that would make us say that we have a successful life and that we have it all. God bless. Have a wonderful Monday. Make it a fantastic week. As always, be safe. And remember... Sometimes it's important just to, to verbalize what you're grateful for in life. I'm grateful for you in this channel, and I appreciate the fact that you come in and get ready with me each day. God bless everybody, and I'll catch you in my next video. This is Carrie from down in Houston. Have a great day.